Same nigga that you did all the tags for the beats You let that nigga tag, let him beat You let me give him that when we meet Even that, I kept discreet I asked you to your face, did you fuck them niggas? And you swore on your mother I knew from then I couldn't trust Oh yeah, I can't wait to deep dive this one, baby Because I had a lot of private conversations with you guys And look I said some things in some DMs that I wasn't truly comfortable to say in the video yet. And we are about to deep dive the hell out of this song. Because, of course, Megan Thee Stallion dropped her song, Cobra, where she, of course, at that time, revealed to the world that Party cheated. And she walked in on him getting his it sucked. Plants, pull it up, call him cheating. Getting his dick sucked in the same spot I'm sleeping. Lord, give me a break. I don't know how much more this shit I can how take. And of course, you know, I was fair in my critique and saying, yo, that's some pretty bold business, especially when you have a feminist tag too, right? But I also pointed to the fact that he posted on his story that this is a cruel world we live in, which is a future meme. And I told you guys that I absolutely believe he posted that because I believe he questioned the timing of her deciding to release that song, right? Because my first initial thought process, and we're gonna do a whole deep dive and I'm gonna have parts of the song to back up what I said, but I questioned why she dropped that song speaking on that when over the course of the year, she has already addressed everybody else. Now look, I am not gonna act like I am the biggest uh, Megan Thee Stallion fan. So, so yes, some of you guys might be right in saying that she has addressed him several times throughout the year. But as I again had conversations in the DMs, Britton, how you doing? I love you. I asked her and I told her, I do believe that one, she was speaking her truth, which she is absolutely allowed to do. But then I also felt like a part of her decided she wanted to blow up the spot because she felt some type of way about party and what many people viewed as upgrading to Jada Kingdom. Now go ahead and check out this part here. Uh, when a snake shed his skin, it only changed on the outside. You got emotional hurdles. Man, the work that you need is internal. When love goes bad, can't believe it. Archive pics, you can't delete it. Damn, see me with Jada Kingdom and then you went Jada Pinky. Saw you pop out, wish you the best You see me pop out, start gripping your chest Damn, thought you was on an island, healing I guess the new album need a villain Brand new way for you to be a victim And you did all of this on my daughter's birthday Ooh, girl, you consistent Shit, I gotta love you from a distance Now look, I'm not gonna address every part of the song Nor am I gonna get partying out for allegedly cheating And getting his ick sucked and making the stallion's bed But he also does address it Saying that she gave a half-truth Where she talk, where at least he talks about the fact that I guess she went out of the country somewhere and didn't answer the phone for days. Now, I don't know at what point Megan Thee Stallion was already on her alleged cheating tear, but at the end of the day, that doesn't give you the, also the right to go ahead and just go ahead and get your, your icks up just because your girl's not answering the phone and in your mind, you want to justify the fact that you're single and you can do whatever you want. I don't think that's how that works. Now, again, I'm not in their relationships. I don't know how much he's called. I don't know how much he's texted. I don't know if he's done anything or if he just decided he just wanted to go on a revenge tour, but again, if that's what led up to him getting his it sucked, are we going to be fair about the critique and the fact that she disappeared on him? And then at this point, look, we've already heard the rumors before that she was cheating. So it, is it OK for him to get his lick back? Here's what he had to say about that part. People, you sick in the head. Keep it a buck. You could be honest. Talking about me and some game. Like I was just out here doing my thing. Way that you paying this pitch is a shame. How many times did I catch you texting them niggas? You did you first, I just did me bigger. You flew out the country, ain't called for days. In my mind, we had parted ways. You was back to moving awful strange. Now look, I'm not gonna get into the rest of the song where he talks about her getting lipo and coming basically a pseudo uh, gym influencer. But my point is this, y'all, is that sometimes it's okay to just kind of want to get all of the facts. And that's the part that I think it's tough being a man. All right, I'm not trying to get on my woe is me, boo hoo crying all, it's tough to be a guy type of thing. But at the end of the day, there's two sides to every story. And then I think, as I've said in the DMs, I think we're too quick to slap victim blaming on everything when you want to question somebody's timing on different things, all right? Now look, I don't think that Megan Thee Stallion is clout chasing. I don't think that Megan Thee Stallion is looking for a villain for her album or anything like that. I just, again, believe two things can absolutely be true. I believe that she felt comfortable 
in this point in time to release her truth via a song but then again as i said before i felt like she saw party living his best life with jada kingdom who looks phenomenal so don't make the stallion fans don't sit there and act like this woman is not attractive because she is and said hey you know what i'm about to blow up the spot make you look a certain way or tell a half truth so you look a certain way and fuck up the whole thing and what many guys will tell you what might scorn a woman the most is when she thinks that she can fuck up your relationship and y'all stay together laughing at her and i think that is what we're looking at i totally believe partisan went to um jada kingdom said hey look this is what it is this is where we're at i'm about to make a song i'm about to let it all loose and she was sitting there cheering her man on because she probably already knew half of this stuff now do i still think partisan is a piece of shit maybe a little bit again i don't think that just because your girl disappears you can just automatically assume you're single and just go get your lick back you know if she's doing her hey man sometimes you gotta be the bigger person i know a lot of you guys out there gonna be like courtney what the fuck are you talking about if she cheating i'm cheating look i just can't agree with that i'm sorry but hey you know i want to know what you guys think down below you know because again i had a lot of this privately you talk about a lot of this privately and i got a lot of pushback but i think it was a great conversation now i'm interested to see what a lot of you might think now now that we have this information regardless i want to see what you guys think down 